Abby and I recently stumbled across a couple of budget 10th scale brushless RC four wheel drive trucks. This one's more like a monster truck. And on tomorrow's video or the next video on the channel, you should see like a desert buggy style, which is one of my favorites. Uh, this should be fun. We're just here to bash this today and see if these both are worth your hard earned money. But in today's video, we're just going to focus on this guy. Traditionally, these Spirit, you see the Spirit on the side with the brushless setup RC vehicles, they do a decent job. So I'm excited to see this larger scale version of the Spirit trucks and, and see how it performs. It comes with a pretty traditional radio. This is basic, but at least it has steering trim. So you've got your on off switch and steering trim, which means if you're veering off course a little bit, the truck's turning on on its own to the right, you can trim it up and head left. Powered on, we have fully proportional throttle and steering, and we're at a cool little bashing spot here in the woods, nice and shady, so I'm looking forward to this. Let's go. Okay, so one nice thing about this setup is it comes with two running batteries. Now, I just charged one for this running video today, but you get two LiPos with this, and it's running on a 2S, ah, I rolled it on the ditch. It's running on a 2S LiPo and it has a Dean's plug, which is really nice. When I give it throttle, the front end raises up just a little bit so you can tell it's got a little bit of kick to it. Reverse has power too. And you can see right there on the left path, we brought our ramp with us today. So which way do you guys want us to go? Should we head, head the right path and go trailing a little bit with our monster truck? Or should we start off strong and ramp it and see how it does? How do you say left? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is one of our, it's like our medium ramp. This one we made, my dad actually. Let's see if I can hit it on the first try. Here we go. Ow! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was terrifying. Did it miss you? It missed me. You need to trim it just a hair. <laughs> just a hair. Yeah. So it doesn't come and kill me hey, again. Hey, it's not easy to hit a ramp when you've got Flat, rocks flat everywhere. surface and rocks and weeds. Here we go, one more time. Oh, there we go, operating. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just go slow. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> it really wasn't bad for how little speed I had. The hill, going downhill helps. Here. It does help. Not bad. So these little spirit trucks are absolute badget, uh, not badget, budget <laughs> bashers. We can call those badgers. Badgets. 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 Bad okay. Budget bashers. Badgets. Badgets. Here we go. Ah! There it is again. Oh. You know, this is not ever going to hold up to anything like Arma or Traxxas or Losi or maybe even HPI, although it's really sad. HPI is kind of, kind of not keeping up with the times like I would like them to. But this is fun. And if you were on a budget but you wanted to get out and race with your buddies, oh, I just popped a wheelie and you missed it. You know, you don't have a couple hundred bucks to spend in the hobby. Maybe, maybe this would be one of your best choices. So it's cool. It comes with a bunch of extra parts in case things do break. And RC vehicles, a lot of times they do break. Abby's at the controls now. Yeah! Nice. Honestly, I like it. You know? It's not bad. The shocks are a little on the loose side. They're not oil filled. They're just spring shocks. So they're very bouncy. But sometimes the bounce is kind of fun. It just hops along the rocks. Nice, Abby. You really don't need to hit that at max speed for the ramp to look good. This thing does do donuts really, really well. Yeah. <laughs> of course, I think we all know this. One of your biggest downfalls to buying something like this, uh, really the only downfalls when something does break, part availability can be a little harder to find. But because it's 10th scale, sometimes parts from different companies can be interchangeable. Now, at the end of this video, I'm going to pop that body off and show you guys the brushless motor up underneath and the battery tray style, I think some of you guys are gonna recognize, which I like a lot. Boom. 
Yeah, all he needs is that little kick of juice. You know what, that thing is powering through these really tall weeds back here in the woods. I'm really surprised at how much how much power it has. You really, don't, yeah, you don't have to worry about grass stopping that or big rocks or anything. For a budget monster truck, oh, you got a giant weed. There you go. It's nice, right? Yeah. Well, let's go take it back here on the trail a little bit. We'll, we'll come back to the ramp and lock the car. <laughs> there we go. Just have a little fun, Abby. Nice, nice off-roading. You know what? I thought I was gonna like the desert buggy more, but now that I'm seeing this one just power through the woods, I'm thinking I like it a lot. We'll have to check the truck for ticks later. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You think if we spray it with off, it wouldn't pick any up? <laughs> this is nice. I'm impressed. I am too. Look at it go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you might have got hung up on a thick weed. No, you got out of it. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. What do you guys think of this trail? Should we come back here? Well, we are gonna be back here in the next video you see on the channel because we've got that other basher oh, to show you. I see you, I see you. Let me zoom in here. Oh, it got stuck on a stick, it looped it around. You're doing good though. This, this truck is doing surprisingly oh, well. Look That's how fine. Much grass is like yeah. stuck in my... So we should pull some of that out before it bogs down the motor too hard. Anytime you're in rough, tall grass like that, you don't want to leave too much in there because it can be really just hard on the motor. You know, if you're holding the wheels and they can't spin as freely as they'd like, then that's not good. So this is just easy, a little bit of maintenance. Got all of it, really, 99% of it. What is that, mate? I'm seeing a little bit of junk. Someone has thrown a rug back here. <laughs> don't drive on it. Why? Yeah, never know why that rug is there. As I drive on it, it's fun. Well, <laughs> It was for okay. us to trail on, that's why it's there. I don't know about that. Could be not so family friendly reasons that is there. <laughs> you can touch the truck after we're done. Yeah, you get the power switch. Power switch is on the bottom. Look at that. Look, do you guys know what these are? Tons of them. Tons of them. Black walnut, yeah? Here we go. I think that's a black walnut. I like this trail, Abby, because it's like smooth gravel, pretty good bashing. You got a couple rough spots of rocks. This is fun. And on a hot day, which today, oh, big stick. On a hot, hot day, this would be a nice cool place to bash. Oh yeah, I like this spot. It goes really slow, wow. It does. Look at you. You're kind of like, oh, you got hung up on that. <laughs> I think you're stuck. I think, does that count as your third flip? No. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. I think it's my turn. Shucks. Rules of three. <laughs> well, let's keep going up around the curve. It levels off a little bit up here. And now that I know this can off-road as well as it does, I want to hit the side of that hill. Yeah, I like this. Really, if anything, I'm very just impressed with the spot we're at now. Oh yeah, look, this is gonna be fun. Getting this full throttle, muddy. hammer it up through here. Get a little muddy. Oh, oh man, oh. oh. <laughs> nice, but check this out. On the bottom of the truck, there's a plate, a metal plate up here. Is that you? No. Oh, you left the... Yeah, there's a blue you left the wrapper, on. wrapper on it. We're gonna leave Looks that like on. like you bent the metal, <laughs> mate. Yeah. No, it's just the wrapper. Isn't this cool? Yeah, getting a little muddy on the tires. Oh, I almost rolled it. You were doing really good off-roading. I'm impressed. Now the steering wheel to me, you tell me what you thought. Did that feel a little bit tight to you? I thought the whole transmitter, both the wheel and the throttle felt a, a little, little tight. A little that, tight, yeah. That might, that might wear in over time. Look, this is a great flat spot up here to do some bashing with. You and I could come up here with our GoPros mm -hmm. and drive a couple of these things together. This would be fun. Oh. Okay, let's start heading back down the hill. 
and then we'll hit the ramp a couple more times. I want to show everybody up under the hood of this. I want everyone to see the brushless motor, the battery tray system. Look, we can do a little off-roading right here. Like you said, it drives pretty slow too. Nice and well-rounded. The most common issue I've seen on these Spirit vehicles is eventually your dog bone is going to fall out. And that's okay, it's just hard bashing. You pop it right back in. If you find it. If you find it, that's right. It's like body clips. Body clips and dog bones are the most sacred thing in the RC world. <laughs> Besides a fully charged battery. Yeah. Okay, there's our ramp. So you guys know the trail, it just loops around. <laughs> Pretty flowers. Yeah, yeah, they were at the top of the hill too. Nice. Little wild flowers. Okay, here we go. Let's hit that ramp. Nice and slow and boom. Very nice. Okay, All right, one more ramp for the road and then I'll show you guys up under the hood. I think we got a, a good budget winner on our hands. So if you like this, we'll have a link in the description box below. Let's hit this one more time, a little faster. Oh, oh! Not a good way to end it. We can hit all four wheels on the ramp, yeah? <laughs> Can you though? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no, nope, you enough. can't. That was three. Three out of four. I'm wondering, will this beat our next truck that'll be on the channel? Yes, so make sure you're subscribed and have that notification bell on so you can see the next truck we're gonna review. So inside here, I wanted you to see we've got a brushless motor mounted in the back. It's a pretty good size and you know what? It's, it's cooking. It's really warm, but we've been working the truck really hard too. Now we have an ESC receiver combo here with a heat sink on it to help keep it cool and it's not as hot as the motor. Steering servo is mounted up front here. And then we have, and of course the servo saver, that's why it's not moving a lot, the wheels. And then here's our battery tray. I want you guys to let me know where you've seen this battery tray before. I'm not going to say it. I won't say it. <laughs> I want you guys to say it in the comments. You push down this pin, you pull this over, and then you lift that up. And I've got my battery Velcroed to it. So where have you seen that before? Hmm? <laughs> Very big RC company I is your hint. I feel a lawsuit If you like this truck, you better buy one fast because <laughs> it won't be around long with that battery tray system in there. A lot of times these Spirit vehicles come with lights installed. This one unfortunately did not. Has the light bucket up there, but no functioning lights. You could install them later. It'd be very easy to do on this vehicle, but that is just for looks. However, tomorrow's vehicle, or the next one on the channel, a uh, little different. It's actually a very similar chassis design, but the body's extremely different. So I'm excited to see how it holds up in the same bashing grounds here, because they are built extremely similarly. So, maybe hold off. Don't buy this one just yet. If you loved it, just wait and see what we have in tune on the channel, the, ne the very next video that we're going to do. If you do like this, we'll have a link in the description box below. Well, I'm glad we got to get out here today, find a new little bashing ground. This place is pretty cool and you'll get to see it again on the channel the very next time uh, we hit upload on our videos. And for all that, I thank God. I also want to say a huge thank you to all of our Patreon supporters because without you guys, we wouldn't have the channel that we have. We wouldn't be able to upload the content as regularly as we do. And so for that, we say thank you from the bottom of our hearts. You guys are the best. We'll have another budget bashing video of an RC truck popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there.